Good evening, folks. Everything new under the sun. This is Ventu Sky. Now, this is a website that I've used in the past, and I actually got the idea from uh, BP Earthwatch. He used to use this. I actually don't know if he uses Ventu Sky. I haven't particularly noticed it, but I haven't watched a ton of his, his videos recently. But what's neat about this is it shows uh, uh, wind. Uh, it also shows uh, here. Here are the options on the side. You can look at precipitation, clouds, uh, wind speeds, wind gusts, etc. Air pressure. So the last time we looked at this was. Uh, uh, I think maybe for Hurricane Harvey or something like that. And uh, so we were looking at that because you can see um, some of the uh, hurricanes uh, that are coming. Oh, let, uh, let me zoom out here. Is that... Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so there is a Dorian, of course, uh, by the Florida Panhandle there um, to the east of it. And you have this uh, 92L here. And uh, then if we uh, scroll over... We can see a new hurricane coming in uh, from from Africa, coming across. So Hurricane uh, Gabriel, and so this is one that's uh, uh, turning, and this is sort of the birthplace. You can see, kind of in in the uh, bottom right here, you can see what appears to be another uh, hurricane uh, starting with the with the wind features going around a low pressure system. Um, but these are these are the named storms. So Gabriel's coming uh, in the wings. But what I want to do this time is. Um, so this is the current location uh, of Dorian, and uh, it's uh, pummeling uh, the east coast of Florida, of course, and uh, heading upwards uh, into the states along the east coast. What is interesting here, though, especially for me, um, I'm from Canada, I'm on East Coast Canada, so it's interesting to see how this goes up. Now, what you can do with uh, VentuSky is... Uh, Let's go to uh, wind gusts. Here you see wind gusts, and um, the the strongest gusts at this point are uh, in the 140 kilometer per hour range, uh, which isn't too bad. I'm not sure if this is um, okay. Yeah, okay. So I see about near 170 kilometers an hour, 180 kilometers an hour. Um, if I kind of scroll around the the various colors there, so there are some darker, faster um, speeds there. Um, so it's still quite fast, yeah, 200 kilometers per hour. So it's a, a pretty big, uh, pretty fast uh, gusts there. And if I go back to just standard wind speed, let me uh, let me see if I can zoom in a lot, uh, a little bit here. Um, zoom in and then, zoom in, and then we can see it. Now, like I say, what's interesting about this is uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and move this forward. So if we pick the date at the bottom. Uh, which you can't see. There's a date picker at the bottom. There's a date picker. Now we can go up um, by one day and see where it is in one day. So you can see it off the coast there, uh, Charlotte, Raleigh, North Carolina there, heading up to Virginia Beach. Um, and it's still a very, very, very strong storm. Um, but if you go ahead to uh, Friday, Saturday, this is when it gets into... Um, uh, well, it's getting up near Boston Friday, um, and it's going pretty fast uh, north at this point. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday is uh, when it really zooms past um, the Maritimes in Canada. And this is uh, this is what I'm interested uh, in seeing. But you can see how far off coast it is. That means it's going to uh, stay strong. It's not going to lose a ton of power if it stays off the shore, because the shore is going to is going to be what slows it down. And the waters are relatively warm right now. Um, so still, uh, still pretty fast uh, speeds, uh, lots of uh, gusts and uh, fast wind speeds in there. But as we get into uh, Saturday, go up to Saturday, and now we can see uh, it's right over Maritimes, Nova Scotia there, right off the coast of Nova Scotia, um, PEI to the north, uh, and New Brunswick um, to the left of the screen there. And, uh, and here we can see the impact in terms of uh, wind speed, etc. So if we look at, uh, if we go to the gusts, Let's go to the gust, and then what we can do is we can um, scroll in a bit, and we should be able to see, uh, let's see, it was showing me uh, gusts before, 114 kilometers an hour, so fairly strong winds, 130 kilometer an hour winds, and he, then what you can do is you can go on the very bottom here, um, and uh, check this out for yourselves. You can go along the very bottom and actually change the time. So, and again, this is forecast, um, but you can change um, the time. So if I go to 2100 hours, 9 p.m., you can see where it is at 9 p.m. And then if I go over to Sunday, so now it's, uh, according to this forecast, going over top of um, <coughs> uh, Nova Scotia. Let me go back to Safari, pull this down so you can see this thing. 
Uh, and on Sunday, I'll go back to uh, midnight. And so you can see Sunday, um, it's going around uh, uh, Cape Breton there, um, heading towards Cape Breton Island. And this is in the early morning hours. So here's uh, 3 a.m. You can see it over top of Sydney there. And strong winds coming down on PEI. So lots of... Um, Lots of uh, a tidal wave, uh, tidal forces, uh, and uh, extra high tides uh, as the water is pushed into the, the north side of Prince Edward Island and, and around, of course, the, the, the shores of uh, Cape Breton Island there. And so if we go to 6 a.m., um, you can see at this point in time, it's uh, well off the coast of Nova Scotia, and it's heading into uh, Newfoundland uh, up there. So it's, uh, it's quite up there, and it's going very fast at this point in time. Uh, it's moving right along. But it's pretty interesting to, to, to see this. And this will show humidity and waves and snow uh, cover and all sorts of um, really neat things. So this is a picture of uh, the waves. Um, and you can see how strong the waves are. And you know the bigger the waves, the high, higher the waves. 10 meter, 11 meter waves. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me go. Let me get uh, up here. And you can kind of see the... Uh, the colors there so and these this is in meters so six meters would be the pink light pink you go in the darker pick eight meters and darker again in 10 meters um, significant waves you can also see the, see the direction of the waves so that's that's the direction in which the wind is blowing at that point in time so of course uh, the waves are uh, being blown north uh, eastward at this point in, uh, in time and if you uh, scroll over here you can see of course the wind is in the other, other direction because the rotation of the uh, hurricane dorian which will be a a tropical, uh, most likely post-tropical storm. You can see the the, the waves uh, pushing against um, uh, the north shore of uh, Prince Edward Island, for example, and uh, hitting against uh, the west shore of uh, Cape Breton Island. Um, so it's an interesting sight. Uh, you can zoom in and, and zoom in on the timeline and see exactly where this is going to be. Let's go back to wind gusts here. And uh, again, if we let's see if we can zoom in. I'm going to go back to midnight here. And this is kind of the strongest, 158 kilometer uh, hour of winds um, over the Atlantic here. Uh, about 100, uh, 112, 114 kilometer per hour winds, 120 it looks like in some cases, um, hitting the uh, hitting PEI. So uh, pretty fascinating stuff. Uh, this is Ventus Sky. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and this is, so this is hitting the Maritimes. If I go back to Saturday, uh, basically um, the Maritimes, uh, we'll start seeing... Um, effects of this let me go to uh, about uh, noon uh, noon lunchtime let's go back even farther all right here's 6 a.m we're just going to start feeling the wind uh, but not super fast i mean 60 kilometers an hour that's not too bad uh, off the coast of nova scotia but you go three hours ahead and you get into nine o'clock and uh and and it's starting to speed up there you're starting to see uh, 100 kilometer per hour gusts and winds on mainland Nova Scotia. Then you go to uh, noontime, and uh, they're they're right into uh, the thick of things with uh, significant winds, 163 kilometer per hour uh, winds. So that that is quite a storm. Go to three uh, three p.m. and it's just off the coast there. And uh, so this is where the real damage is going to be hitting um, south of Halifax um, uh, in the bottom of Nova Scotia. There. If we go to six uh, six p.m. at night, it's moved ahead further. And of course, uh, you know, all around you have some pretty significant winds, and it's just gonna, according to this forecast, slide up, uh, up the coast uh, of Nova Scotia uh, and Canada in general. Um, so it doesn't look like New Brunswick's gonna get hit a lot, but uh, certainly PEI, Nova Scotia, uh, Cape Breton uh, is gonna get the get the brunt of this. You know, whatever is left of it uh, at that time when it goes through. So again, pretty interesting stuff coming from Ventu Sky, and. Um, Oh, the interesting thing, like I say, is that you can kind of, um, let me just scroll out a little bit so you see a bigger picture. So this is Saturday. We'll walk back. Here is uh, Friday. Let me, let me zoom that up here. Friday and uh, off the coast of the U.S., go back to Thursday. And it's off uh, the coast of uh, the Carolinas there. Go to Wednesday. And of course, that's where we uh, are right now. So um, pretty cool that you can step it ahead. And then, of course, you can see all the other storms. And there's another storm actually um, uh, uh, off Mexico as well. Um, whatever, I forget the name of that. But uh, there is a name storm. Oh, there's, 
There's a storm here, uh, Hurricane uh, Juliet, um, named 57 kilometers an hour wind, 140. So that's a small one, category one, I guess, uh, Juliet is. But um, so hurricanes kind of all around. And of course, the interesting thing is that um, um, the hurricanes are even uh, following up behind. So let me go up a little bit farther out here. And uh, so here you can see, uh, let's see, where are we? There you can see Gabriel uh, coming in behind, so it's gonna. You can see the weather patterns. You can see the flow of the uh, the air going from east to west, um, the wind currents, um, and you can see what just drives it straight into and up the coast of uh, the United States. Um, so more coming, and uh, this is again, this is not the end of hurricane season by any stretch. So I'll leave it there, guys. I'll put the link in the description. You can check that out. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.